Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Depending on where you are in this world, God bless you. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. Today we're going to be in the book of Ezekiel in the Old Testament in the King James Version of the Holy Bible, and we are in chapter 25. Now I'm going to tell you something before we get started. God doesn't like someone who gloats when he is pronouncing judgment on his people Israel for their evil doings. He doesn't like the other nations going, aha, look at you, you got in trouble and I'm, you know, making fun of you and I'm going to put you down when you're already down. And it's like a parent who's got, <laughs> and I know you ones that have multiple kids or multiple grandkids that when one of them gets in trouble and you're after that one, the other one's over there going, you know, <laughs> God doesn't like that. Don't do that. Don't gloat. And vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. So for someone to try to step in his shoes is a very bad idea. So let's see what happens here. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against the Ammonites, and prophesy against them. And say unto the Ammonites, Hear the word of the Lord God. Thus saith the Lord God, because thou sayest, aha, against my sanctuary when it was profaned, and against the land of Israel when it was desolate, and against the house of Judah when they went into captivity. Behold, therefore I will deliver thee to the men of the east for a possession, and they shall set their palaces in thee, and make their dwellings in thee. They shall eat thy fruit, and they shall drink thy milk. And I will make Rabbah a stable for camels, and the Ammonites a couching place for flocks. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. For thus saith the Lord God, Because thou hast clapped thine hands, and stamped with the feet, and rejoiced in heart with all thy despite or spite, disdain against the land of Israel. Behold, therefore I will stretch out mine hand upon thee, and will deliver thee for a spoil to the heathen. And I will cut thee off from the people, and I will cause thee to perish out of the countries. I will destroy thee, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, because that Moab and Seir do say, Behold, the house of Judah is like unto all the heathen or nations. Therefore, behold, I will open the side of Moab from the cities, from his cities which are on his frontiers, the glory of the country, Beth Jeshemoth, Baalmion, and Kiraamtheum unto the men of the east with the Ammonites, and will give them in possession, that the Ammonites may not be remembered among the nations. And I will execute judgment upon Moab, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, because that Edom hath dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance, and hath greatly offended and revenged himself upon them, or by avenging himself upon them. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, I will also stretch out mine hand upon Edom, and will cut off man and beast from it, and I will make it desolate from Teman, and they of Dedan shall fall by the sword. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury. And they shall know that my vengeance, saith the Lord God. Thus saith the Lord God. Because the Philistines have dealt by revenge and have taken vengeance with a despiteful or spiteful heart to destroy it for the old hatred or because of an old hatred, 
Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will stretch out mine hand upon the Philistines, and I will cut off the Cherethims and destroy the remnant of the sea coast, and I will execute great vengeance upon them with furious rebukes. And they shall know that I am the Lord, when I shall lay my vengeance upon them. So, just like a parent, when you're correcting your child and the other one's over there making faces, you know, like nanner, 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 you know, um, God doesn't like that. And he doesn't want us to gloat when he comes to our defense. And it, it, vengeance is his. So, we're not to seek justice for ourselves, but seek justice from God. And then when he comes to your defense, don't gloat. Because if he sees you doing that, he's going to turn away and you're on your own. <laughs> so, and as always, I love you.